والاسم منه معرب ومبني لشبه من الحروف مدني والاسم منه معرب ومبني لشبه من الحروف مدني والاسم منه معرب ومبني لشبه من الحروف مدني المعرب والمبني المعرب والمبني المعرب and والمبني المبني in grammar means the movement at its end does not change المعرب is a word that whose end changes or the short vowel or the uh, letter uh, changes at its end depending on its position in the sentence so والاسم and the noun منه from it معرب ومبني the noun a part of it منه from it in this context a part of it is معرب so a part of nouns is معرب so it ends goes through changes depending on its position in the sentence ومبني and مبني it has a fixed ending so that's the two divisions of a noun it could have its end changing depending on its position or it's fixed لشبه من الحروف مدني لشبه لي for شبه a likeness لشبه for a likeness من الحروف من is from الحروف the letters الحروف in this context to الحروف لشبه من الحروف a for a likeness to the letters مدني مدني is something that brings something closer to something else you call it mudni or the bringer of uh, that thing closer so the bringer closer to a something is mudni so this likeness for this likeness that bring the noun closer to a letter is what causes it to become mabni so notice here والاسم منه معرب and the noun part of it is معرب ومبني and has a fixed movement why لشبه for a likeness من الحروف مدني that brings it closer to letters and we know that meaning letters have fixed movements now remember we are talking about nouns here so if we have an ex- we have an example here of a noun so notice this is a noun معلم a teacher masculine singular teacher معلم now notice these red movements or has that has the color red these are the movements that you would see with this noun because it's معرب meaning you could see uh, say, uh, hear it or read it as معلم معلمة or معلمي depending on its position or it could you can hear it or read it as معلما or معلم or معلم so that's how the end of this noun changes in this case an adjective so the feminine also say the same thing معلمة 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 or معلمة معلمة or معلمة notice these are the changes there for the sound feminine plural you only get these the معلمات معلمات or معلمات or معلمات this is special for this uh, sound feminine plural it does not take this a or an there معلمان this is the dual case notice they use letters here to indicate its position in the sentence so it's in this situation you see it معلمة this a here this uh, this letter in red that's the mark for its position in the sentence for the dual masculine here here is the feminine معلمتان notice this a there this an is always with the dual but it gets dropped in certain situations so just focus on this mark now if it's uh, in a different position in the sentence notice it gets the ya معلمين معلمين 
if it's feminine muallimatain two teachers in both cases here for the sound masculine plural you notice they use the u there to indicate its position so muallimun or muallimin depending on its position it takes this u or this ya here now notice the difference between these here this the letter before the, before the ya in the dual is has this a fatha a ma in here for the masculine sound plural it's mi also the an in the dual is ni ni the an in the masculine plural sound masculine plural is a so just i wanted to point these out here and notice these are in blue color so this an always have this movement there of course for the exceptions we might discuss them in this poem or on a different uh, playlist later now so this is what a mu'rab is this is a noun that is mu'rab and you can see it in with these different changes of course there are other nouns they use also these letters to indicate their positions but that's a, that's a discussion for a different uh, playlist now al mabni in the second verse or the next verse after this they will go into detail of what is this likeness that causes the noun to be similar to a letter and that's why it ends up with a fixed movement so here we have an example of nouns they're considered nouns in the uh, by the grammarians but they are ha they have fixed movement that is mabni so they are fixed mabni means built the literal meaning of it is built so it's like it's a fixed building so it's built that way so to here this is the pronoun for i it connects to it's a subject pronoun it connects to verbs so ta u t u feminine singular all these are singular here so these here are pronouns and notice they're all formed by one letter here except for this one has two letters now when in the next verse we will go more into details on this but the likeness here with a letter is it's the way it's formed it's formed by one letter here or two letters in arabic words that accept changes are not less than three letters there are words that are formed by two letters you will use them as two letters like the word yet which is the word for hand that is considered by grammarian is uh, changed because it's understood to be originally as yadyun yadyun and they say the sia was dropped and that's why it's yet that's the way you use the word yet the reason for that of course is uh, you will see this back in a different form of this uh, noun so for a noun that is used by the arabic language as a noun and to be formed by one letter that the grammarians say cause it to have a fixed movement just like a regular letter would have it so because it looks like a letter so that's one explanation of it so it's like a letter in that sense now another way that uh, a noun will be similar to a letter or a meaning letter is in meaning so these are different ways in which a noun is like a meaning letter so the form of the noun and its meaning help make it similar to a letter or a meaning letter so here the and the these are demonstrative nouns so the the so if you are pointing at a girl you say the or a boy you say the now most of the time you will see this with the ha hada this hadhi this so this word here is the original word is the or the but the grammarian said this ha is added as a, to bring attention so it's not original so this here are an example of a noun a demonstrative a noun oh this also has a fixed movement there 
Another example is these connecting nouns, they call them. So, الذي, التي, الذين, ما, من. This is just an example of these connected nouns. So, الذي, the one who, التي, the one who, feminine, singular. الذين, the ones who, masculine, plural. ما is which, which is used with uh, inanimate objects or animals. And sometimes is used with uh, intelligent beings or intelligent beings. Men is usually used for intelligent beings, like who who said that? Men qala the who? Or the one who, in different contexts, you use it as a connecting noun. Now, the reason they call these here, depending on their position, these two here, depending on their position in the sentence, and these here, they call them connected nouns, is you need some explanation for these. So always these here will have some, some statement that explain what these are. And it's called the connecting sentence, which comes after these to explain what these are. So that's why they give them this description, a connected noun. Now, here notice I listed these are inquiring nouns. Notice they are the same as these here. So this is man, ma, man, ma. But here they are used as an inquiry noun, depending on their position in the sentence. So you say, who said that? Man qala hadha. Or if I say, the one who said that told me, now it becomes a connecting noun. So Depending on how you use it, the description changes. But these also are examples of nouns. They're, these are considered nouns. And they are examples of nouns that have mabni, a fixed. They are called mabni, meaning they have a fixed movement. So I will read this verse again. وَلِسْمُ مِنْهُ مُعْرَبٌ وَمَبْنِي لِشَبَهٍ مِنَ الْحُرُوفِ مُدْنِي والاسم منه معرب ومبني لشبه من الحروف مدني والاسم منه معرب ومبني لشبه من الحروف مدني